All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Hive Swap. So, we've got some things to do, specifically things to use on the bird. Byers, what do you make of these batteries? Why did you pick them up? What purpose will they ultimately serve? Are you just carrying them around out of a sense of curiosity, or is it just inertia? Why do they keep popping in, uh, pooping in your hand? Oh, sorry, Byers, that got a little pointed. What? No, Byers, this is not a snack. He's probably going to try and eat them, right? That's what he'll do. Because he's a simple little bird brain who... who. Okay, so he's wearing a... A, the... Yeah, as we get further into the game, we're running into more typos. He's wearing a pog, like a little hat. Touche, Byers. That's pretty damn cute. Byers picks the treat up with his beak and after a moment, spits it back into your hand. Evidently, he doesn't care for the taste. Either that or the bird is literally too do dumb to know what food is. Byers is a cutie, but you're not quite sure you want to entrust your shiny treasured memory of your dearly departed mother to an animal with a fascination for shiny objects and a proclivity for flying out of reach. Oh right, we got more things to interact with Byers. Ah, that started the bejesus out of him. Byers gives you a little wink as if to say, one day sure, when you're ready. Wow, talk about fresh. Ah, oh, I was gonna try and... Okay. Let's use buyers on everything. You consider stuffing buyers into the handhole. But that'd be cruel. You unconsider it at breakneck speed. Buyers flies straight towards the sharp edge of the katana and nearly misses it. Whew! You carefully remove the marble patch from around his neck and, believe it or not, shove the marbles into the eye sockets. You discard the pouch. What an evening it's been. As you move closer to the big cat head, Byers starts to freak out. He's wiggling around all crazy. That's all you can do to keep him in your gentle but firm clutches. You don't think using Byers like this is the solution to whatever problem this inaccurate globe presents. He barely made it from the treehouse to the kitchen. He's not exactly a topographical sa savant. Byers and the Deer, it's beautiful and tragic, like something from one of your young adult novels where bunnies and vampires and mice are knights or something. Bunnies, vampires, and... mice? Huh. Byers displays his own tiny wingspan to the Albrige, who refuses to be intimidated. Byers looks pleased to see a bird adorned so regally. Surely he has some per additional purpose. <laughs> Oh, it's because I've used buyers on 30 things. The achievements in this are great. I Let's look at them for a second. Oh. They're all hidden. This is actually one of those games where getting all the achievements would probably kind of be kind of fun. Anyway, uh, let's look at this. Uh, oh, there's an X mark. So we should probably spin it. So this is probably relevant to the troll? Maybe? I don't know. Look, you did it. The attic key has been found. Take. You got what you assumed to be the attic key. Okay. You couldn't have gotten this without Byers' help. Thanks, little buster. Cute little doofus. Got the key. Heading back to the attic now. Careful, may not be that simple over. What do you mean? None of this has been simple. It's been downright convoluted. Noticing hostile elements grouping, uh, grouping serpents massing over. Oh, jeez. We'll try to back you up if possible. Remain alert, sis. Over. Always am, bro. Over and out. Well, time for some probably uh, strifey cutscenes. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Luckily, this game's combat is fairly... Benign, let me guess. Yep, here's another one. Wait, that one is an eye. Oh, wait. I <laughs> uh. Okay. Pogs. P Pogs save. Nope. Oh, wait. Hey, wait. Huh. Dot, dot, dot. Joey is currently knocked out and has nothing to say about this brute squad. Maybe someone else can help you. Oh, can I hot swap between them? Actually. Oh, that's cool. 
I didn't realize I could hot swap between the characters now. I wonder if we can do that more often in the future. Joey took a brutal hit. She's down for the count. You gotta find some way to distract these monsters until sh she can get back on her feet. Well, egress. I, uh... Am I... Okay. I guess the easy option is Kablamo. I'm confused. Okay, there we go. Cutscenes take a bit to load. Okay. Can I whammo? Hey, oh, I got one. No excuses. Uh, we've got that taken care of. Now, if I throw yummy bits, nope. Rupperu Perry. I'm not entirely sure what I can do here. Oh, right. She's she's now dodging. We gotta, we gotta keep with the distractions. This is cool, just super confusing, because it's... It's adventure game combat, which is effectively treated like any, any old adventure game. Okay, let's try tap dancing at them next. No vacancy. I like how big toothsome behind us. Uh, okay, delighted to see ya. Okay, we still have something I can do, maybe. Uh, yummy bits? Nope. Okay, yeah, we're still in the, uh... We're still in the... In parry mode. Okay, can we switch, or are we just waiting for, uh, combat to roll? Either that or I have something I can do. Pogs? I'm not entirely sure what I can do yet. Because I don't, I don't have anything I can press. Oh, okay, I can switch. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's keep firing flares, because apparently I've got a bunch of them. I'm confused about the fire and why the only one that can see can do stuff. Signature style and flare. Well, what can I do? The answer? Use buyers on everything. What are you doing? The monsters are coming after you. Hurry to the attic. Ah, we lose our opportunity. Well, that's okay. I, I think buyers can can avoid being used on every single thing. Hurry, use the key. Plus, if I have to, we can always go back. And we are now locked in there. Whoopsie. Joey, come in. Please report status. Joey, hello, it's Jude. Joey, are you okay? Please, over. Yes, I'm safe. I'm in the attic. Just barely made it. Phew, over. Locked in, actually. I dropped the key. Safer in attic than rest of house. Key can be retrieved later. Over. I think you're right. The way they smashed through the living room window and front door. If I'd stayed in my room, I'd be a goner. Separated us with Vanguard. Destabilized power. Probe defenses. Finally attempted entry through multiple points of ingress. Basic siege tactics. Over. Wow, you're right. I'm impressed. I guess all the conspiracies you're always talking about turned out to be, uh, not fake, maybe? Too certain to tell for sure, but absolutely certain correct and always have been over. Uh, anyway, thanks. So, I'll just hold up in here for now, I guess? Are you safe in the, the treehouse? Should you try calling your friends or something? Didn't want to risk their involvement. Always a gambling case, engaging soldiers of fortune. But maybe time. Remain secure in location and ignore object under curtain over. I am not going to ignore it. 
Joey, please. What? It's a big mysterious thing under the beguiling, fluttery curtain. I have to at least peek at it. What is it anyway? Data insufficient to determine over? Well, I'll let you know when I find out. Joey, don't tactic gariously enter over. Are you there? J j d g Nordle, it is finally a is really bad idea over. Jude, can you repeat that? Lots of static. Joey, b I can't. Uh, you, t please don't. So Joey, please, I can't lose you too. Please don't. Don't go near the portal. Over. Did you say portal? Dot dot dot. Look. Well, it turns out you live in a house that has a hand in a jar in it. You now carry this knowledge with you forever. Byers looks at you, and at the hand, and he puts his little wing on your hand, as if to say, Joey, you do not have to try to use me on literally everything in your house. Nice try, Byers. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, if it comes to that, you'll eat the mummy first. It's not a toy, and it doesn't need batteries. You don't know what the technical classification for a hand in a jar is, but if you had to guess, it seemed like a crime? You got more respect for the dead than that. Even if the dead is just a gross hand in a jar that gives you the max Ghiblis. You really aren't seeing, like, a mouth. The key feels important in your hand, in a way it never did before. Or rather, in a way that always sort of did, but never strongly enough for you to name the feeling. You know, down to your bones, that it matters. It's just sort of the opposite of how you feel about this jar full of hand. High five. You left them hanging long enough. In fact, as you stare at the gross desiccated hand in the jar, you begin to suspect that, that the time for you to break open this jar and slap an anonymous dead hand against your own alive hand is tragically passed. Yeah, and send it toppling to the floor, the glass shattering and the disembodied hand suddenly surging with life and as it scuttles towards you, climbs up and chokes you, probably? No thanks. Not the most graceful partner, but you'd probably be great at following your lead. Look, it's locked and you're safely on the side, thank goodness. Buyers. Unlike cockroaches, pigeons are not able to flatten themselves to the thickness of a quarter and slide through the crack under a closed door. Did I try using the pogs on it? Oh yeah. Pogs on the door. No pogs on door. What about this? Another victim of Jude's overzealous crowbarring, no doubt. Any chance he gets to go prying and jimmying, that kid just goes nutso. Byers nestles down into the warm straw, the picture of contentment and safety. I'll beg pardon. Snuggles or Snoozington, you were under the impression that this was a team adventure, not the late shift at the nap factory? Maybe you could take a nap in the straw, but if the monsters bust down the attic door, you'd rather not be all tuckered out and ready for them chomping like some kind of kid cuisine featuring an actual kid. You hate kid cuisine. Wait, what were you thinking about? Oh yeah, straw naps. No. Pogs. Maybe you can mail them back to, back to... Look, it's time you admit you picked up these pogs of your own free will. And you're only stuck with them because you're mean to throw them out. You can go back to dunking on them, and by proxy, your brother, after this. But just this once, you can admit that you saddled yourself with this. The handwriting is barely legible, and there's no return address, leaving you with no more information than you had before you looked at it. He's a... He seems astonished that this shipment apparently did not utilize the unmatchable power of the avian form, which is a little rich considering it took three pigeons to send two marbles about 30 feet. Nope, nobody ships pogs anywhere. They just appear out of nowhere like dust or cockroaches. Since he's got his first best shotgun, this one fell out of favor and now primarily functions as a home to thi a thick layer of attic dust. Meanwhile, its favorite brother is living out a shotgun's daydream in the hands of your paw. Byers is too sweet to carry such a crude and merciless weapon. Pogs. Your paw's sister gave him this gun. And your brother gave you these pogs, sorta. Your family is kind of ridiculous. You dump a little down the barrel. Maybe the stupid thing won't work the next time he aims it at a nice animal. 
Weird, you have a strange feeling these are related somehow, or they once were. It's hard to... Th it's a hard thought to pin down, and as soon as you focus on it, it's gone, like a dream upon waking. No, there's nothing about... Hey, wait, someone scrawled the key. Where did... Where is that dad blasted Gadzook's key? What could that mean? No, this really isn't that kind of mystery. The boring kind where you have to frequently refer to your ri rigorously maintained collection of shipping invoices in order to make any progress. You hate those. So many heirlooms. Although, your pa isn't actually dead, you assume. Okay. We've got some swingy-ass cages up there. Some very old pigeon cages. You'd suggest they'd be thrown out. You'd suggest they'd be thrown out. But the old cages definitely fits with the aesthetic up here. One might expect that after all these, all the fracas he's been through, this little guy would be eager to return to the safety of a cage. He's reluctant to leave your hand. Perhaps you two have bonded. Is the true cage friendship? Oh wait, no, there's some old poop in there. Oh, no, 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 no. He gets himself all nestled down cozy back there. And it's going to be you climbing over a bunch of lanterns and sexy leg lamps and stupid globes and probably some guns and sexy leg lamps. Just stay put, buyers, okay? You haven't been up here in a while. Your pa sure does keep a lot of weird crap up here. Weirder than all the other crap that is. Or maybe not. Maybe all this stupid crap is basically the same. You know, you don't have an infinite supply of this spice mix. Using it on every vague pile of crap you come across isn't really the most disciplined approach. Although, it's not like you're going anywhere. You sprinkle some. Pogs. You have a feeling that a dusty pile of junk in the attic is the eventual fate for every pog in existence. Jude, on the other hand, says they'll eventually become the currency of the post-apocalyptic wasteland. Could go either way, you guess. Disguising your identity and impairing your vision wouldn't really help matters that much. You're pretty sure the monsters are going to eat anybody they eat. Uh, they meet. Fires could try to wear one of these masks, but you have to—you have a feeling it wouldn't be very convincing. You could put pogs in the eyes. That'd actually be pretty creepy. Might even scare off the monsters. Eh. Maybe you could rapidly circle the pogs somehow. It'd look really cool, you bet. They're pretty dusty already. Your heirloom. You get a feeling that it likes masks? You don't know what it, uh, what to make of that. You don't know what to make of any of that, any part of that sentence. You put the key back in your pocket, where it doesn't want to go. Wait, shut, shut up. Just, okay. You feel like the other end of the room is where you should go with the key. No, not now. When you need it most. Wait, what? Ick, more of his guns. These are antiques and would probably fetch a tidy sum in auction. But do you think the only real perk to their antiquity is it probably means it's been ages since they were used to murder anything furry and precious. Buyers. Sweet precious buyers shouldn't be anywhere near those things. When you think about how many kind animal friends they've probably blasted. Ah, uh, what is a problem? Your paw, you mean, not buyers. He doesn't have a problem as far as you can tell. Actually, yeah, if you dump a little spice mix down the barrel, it and it ruins the gun somehow, he'll have to just use one of his other dozens of guns, you guess. Pogs. In the cold calculus of capitalism, the value of these antique guns, or these pretty new pogs, is merely a function of whatever someone will pay for them. When that someone is you, their value is pretty much nil. Your mother left you a beautiful key that for some reason is tingling in your hand. Your pa left you a, a net full of guns. He also just left you, period. <laughs> He's not here and rarely is. Anything else to immediately interact with? Why does he love globes so much? Maybe they remind him of adventure, all the little abstract geological features, the jagged borders of exotic nations, the tiny bumps representing mountains. Unfortunately, whenever you look at globes of uh, globes in school or wherever, they just remind you of him. Fires rustles in and out of the wreckage of the broken worlds. It's disconcertingly adorable. <laughs> if these were really old globes, they'd be flat. They look like a bunch of giant pogs. You shudder at the thought. 
Now you're really not in the mood for international cuisine. Ugh, that was pretty bad. You guess you brought it on yourself, though. Trying to use these completely unrelated things together for no reason than to see what would happen. Starting to get a little meta here. Unfortunately, you can't find any place for these old globes. Uh, on these old globes for a key. You're glad there isn't a giant keyhole on the surface of the actual planet, though. It'd be a horrible thing to fall into. Isn't that, like, actually... That is most definitely, like, a plot point for uh, Homestuck. A lot of guns up there. Anything else to interact with? I mean, we got the portal at the end of the room, and I'm sure this is kind of torturous for some people. Okay, did I try and equip any of these? You don't use guns. These are definitely loaded, though. Your paw doesn't leave unloaded guns lying around. Or hanging precariously in decaying nets, either. Jeez, this is right over your room. You put this in the attic yourself, because it weirded you out that your paw had a lamp shaped like a woman's leg. Little did you know he'd soon graduate to lamps shaped like entire women. Okay, buyers on leg lamp. Oh, of course, he thinks it's just great. Listen, pipe down you. Spice up that leg. You toss a little spice mix at the leg lamp, because, hey, you know what? It's been a hell of an evening. Not necessarily in the mood to explain yourself. Maybe you just wanted to spice up a formerly luminescent leg and not give yourself the third degree about it. Pogs. What? Like you're gonna slip a pog in her garter or something? Jeez, get it together, Joey. If this were one of those old-timey lamps from the pioneer times, and if this little key turny things on the sides of those lamps looked like this key, and if this lamp were missing its key, then you still wouldn't accomplish anything by trying this. Alright, let's get this over with. I've been putting this off for like... Six episodes? I mean, really, I've just been delaying it. You can't avoid noticing the drape rustling around, although you really wish you could. Better see what's under there now. Though, before it gets the drop on you. Buyers. The pigeon slips under the drapes. After a moment, you hear a terrifying sound of pigeon snores. You reach under and retrieve him. As much as this thing is whipping around with such pronounced and steady rustling, you're likely to get that spice mix blown right back in your face. Batteries. Seems like it's already doing fine on wind energy. <laughs> but really, where the heck is that wind coming from? Pogs. You toss a pog towards the thing, but whatever wind is blowing that drape catches the pog in the air and carries it off too. Well, if you're being honest, you stop paying that close attention to what happens to pogs after you throw them at things. Yummy bits. Whatever's under that drape, something tells you it is hungry. It's not quite the right word, but expectant. Demanding? Like, if a mystery could pound its fist and demand to be solved, that is the feeling whispering to your whole body. Jeez, you can barely hold onto the key. It's like it's pulling you forward closer to whatever's on the other side of this drape. As you dance, you resolve to ignore this mysterious, alluring drape. This beguiling and bewitching cascade of velvet and mysteries. Mysteries that you have come to realize as you continue to dance and to ignore this drape. And the object it covers may be more menacing and monstrous than you knew. The object beneath this drape, which you are still ignoring with fierce and focused intensity on your dancing... The opening note of a sonata in a minor key, or a key that tilts uh, tilts the tumblers, locking away the secrets in a young girl's hand, head, or rather, in her hand. Sorry, you have no idea since you're obviously ignoring this thing forever. You dance, and the drape whipped mysteriously in the wind of unknown origin. Is is it your partner complete complimenting your movements, or the curtain restlessly restless, ra ravenous to rise? And if it is the curtain, onto what strange stage are you about to traipse? You hear the music in your head, you feel the steps calling your feet to take them, and you know the curtain must rise, and you rise with it, to occasions or to baits, yet unbidden and unbaited. You have a feeling it's going to be a hell of a show. Oh, hello, Mecha Snake Portal. Dot, dot, dot. There's some kind of weird interference. You're getting even more freaked out than you already were, which was severely. 
You place Byers next to the keyhole. He gets that look in his eye. The look of a, a watchmaker gets when he's presented with a broken watch. The look a surgeon gets when opening a broken person. The practiced evaluation of a familiar problem. Without hesitation and with incomparable confidence, the pigeon jams his beak right into the keyhole and gets stuck. You wiggle it free, lies a goddamn stupid pigeon. Look, you have no idea what this is. You don't know where it came from or how long it's been here. Did you know about this? Is that why he really doesn't, uh, why he really sent you to the attic? No, that, that doesn't make any sense. He, did your pa know? It looks kind of different from the stuff he usually dumps off here. Feels different, in your mind at least. You, wait, what? You, you're having trouble thinking clearly, dot, dot, dot. Trouble keeping your train of thought. Hmm. Hmm. How? How long have you been standing here? Operate. You don't know how to operate this thing except, of course, to put a key inside it and turn it. That seems like the obvious thing, doesn't it? Like, the most obvious and necessary thing you've ever known, and we're always going to do, and have always known, no, and do it, do it, do it, do it, now, 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 the key, do it, do it, open the door. Spice mix. It looks pretty clanky and rusty, dumping a bunch of gritty spice on it probably wouldn't help it do what it's intended to do, which is a... Batteries? It doesn't look like it needs batteries, more like it's waiting for something else. Hold on, waiting? A weird machine sitting in your attic can't wait. Right? Right? Pogs. You... No, this is important. Keep that garbage away from the... The thing? Ugh, you're having weird thoughts about this machine, and you're not sure why. But you are sure you don't like it. Except the pogs are garbage stuff. That was all you. If you're going to feed this thing... Wouldn't you feed the mouths on the side? Although, you don't really want to get anywhere near those. Tap dancing. Parts of that thing look rickety, but somehow you think it'll stand up to your tap dancing at it. You'll need something a little stronger than just your shoes and your steps to break this thing. Weird. Why do you feel like you already know this thing will like music? Maybe it's like a really complicated organ? And maybe you saw it in a book somewhere. None of that seems right. What the heck is it? Anything else to interact with? Just the globes? The mirror, there's something back there, but nothing. All right. Yes, definitely, yes, jeez, wow, yes, you. Okay, yay. You want to do that, just, yeah, the keyhole. Do it, do it. You feel like you have to. Took me, what, six episodes to make it to the title placard? Now, ain't that some thing. Let's pick this up. Some kind of weird electric bug? Seems to be trying to communicate. Maybe you should pick it up for a closer look. Pick it up. Okay, you pick up the flashing board. Words blink on the screen in an unfamiliar alphabet. For some reason, you can extend, uh, understand it anyway. Hello? Is someone there? Is this a chat room? If a moderator is present, I require some assistance, please. Tetrarch! Huh? There's a huge explosion! Are, were you harmed? Thanks for asking. Although I didn't see any explosion. Well, maybe I did, sorta. 
The roof of your hive is totally jacked. If you say so. Wait, you can see my roof? Who are you? What do you mean, my hive? Oh. Oh, no. I'm sorry, I forgot the code again. Uh, it really was... Uh, I'm really trying, I swear. It's just because I was so worried about you, I wasn't thinking, and it'll never happen again, I promise. I... What's going on? Nothing. All that matters is that you're okay. You are okay, right? Who are you? I'm Exfros. Zephros, probably. Zephros. Oh, no. That was a test, wasn't it? Okay, I know what I just said. I, I know I just said it would never happen again. I mean that starting from now. No exceptions to the code. I'm absolutely not Zephros. Right. Where am I? Oh, yeah, I know this one for sure. You're in your basement, right? I mean, you're not there. You're somewhere else. I, um... Oops, did I say the wrong thing? What do you... Where do you want me to tell you you are? Sorry. I, am. Um, why are you apologizing? I never... It never hurts to be sorry. Uh, so, Zephros, I'm getting that I'm in a basement somewhere, but you think we shouldn't say that. Yeah, that's exactly right. I got it right. Uh, didn't I? If you say so. I don't know... I don't suppose you know what the deal is with this huge machine with the snakes on it. It's sort of like the one in my attic. Except for the one in my attic wasn't so space age and it didn't have a weird force field bubble. Attic? You know, down the hall, up the stairs, highest room in the house. Oh, duh, more code. Sorry. Uh, yeah, the secret weapon. I'm sorry about that. Tetrarch Domic? Secret weapon? Tetrarch Domic? Sorry, I know I keep messing up. I'm doing my best. What is Tetrarch Domic? Um, your name? I mean, not your name. My name isn't Tetrarch Domic. Of course not. I never know who might be reading. Oh, jeez, what was your code name again? My name is Joey. Right, I knew that. That was all my fault. I'm sorry. I had no idea things would go so wrong. Wait, what? I was going to ask you first, but then I thought maybe it was a quiz, and then I had to stop to ask you. Uh, I would fail, so I just put a, the battery in the weapon like you said. What? What are you talking about? I thought you left that weird paper out on the crate as instructions. Weird paper? Not weird, great. The plan was great, Joey. The heiress will never expect it. I mean, I'm not that sure. I, I'm not that sure I get what it is exactly, but still. I'm just proud to be entrusted with an important duty. Hey, let me get back to you. Huh. Well, that is interesting. I guess we will find out in the next episode of Hive Swap. Oh, boy. This has got some stuff to it. This has got some serious... That's a combat droid. We'll deal with that in a second. In a while. In a while. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Hive Swap. Because, whoo boy, things just got different.